Welcome back to another video, guys. I got some things from Hero Mart, and I thought we would open them today. All video. Let's get into it. All right, so this is not my normal recording setup. I'm using a different piece of software. I'm using OBS to record this video, and we're also going with the two camera layout. I don't know. I saw this on like, I think Boogie2988's uh, channel when he was unboxing magic cards or something like that. I figured I'd try it out with some Hero Mart stuff. So I got this package, uh, it arrived today or actually arrived like a few days ago, but I didn't pick it up because it didn't have my name on it when it arrived for some reason, uh, even though I ordered it myself with my own name. Uh, so that was fun. And secondly, it had a extra, uh, you might be able to see it right there, $17.81 shipping charge uh they charged me 17 dollars and 50 cents on their hero mart website uh, and i paid that through paypal and then when it arrived i had to pay another 20 dollars. i don't know maybe that's normal last time i ordered from hero mart that didn't happen so if you're ordering from hero mart uh keep in mind you might have some custom charges uh for me it was 20 dollars on this package that weighs about a pound pound and a half maybe i don't know so let's open it up yeah let's see what's inside of it actually i know it's Oh my god, that is... It's sealed pretty tight. So I guess it's good. Alright. Oh, great. Another package inside of a package. That's fun. There we go. That's what's in there. Nothing else. Alright. Um. Okay, we got some codes here. Uh, one's for... I don't know where to, where to put that. One's for the Twilly thing, the Innovation Quest 3D. And one is for the Zorback, Innovation Quest 3D. And AQW it comes with a pet in AQW and a helmet in AQ3D and the really cool helmet. If you don't, ha if you haven't seen it, it's on the Hero Mart website. So here's the hats. I don't know, you can see it. It's a package that come in. Little plastic bags. No official, I'm, I'm not, Sure, if they're selling these at Toys R Us, probably not. Oh, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be, to be honest. There it is on my chest for scale. That's pretty huge, actually. I mean, I'm wearing he headphones, but I'll take those off. Oh, look at my ears. The rare Cory ears. Okay. A little tight. I have a big head, to be honest. <laughs> that looks so derpy, dude. All right, and then we got the sword back. <laughs> that doesn't really look like Zorback. I don't know, but it's very. All right. So, back at it again. Sorry, my washing machine was having a little issue. That's the noise you heard was. Um, so, it, it actually does kind of look like Zorback. I'm not wearing it properly, of course, because I'm wearing headphones and I'm listening to audio and having to edit and stuff. So, yeah. Um, not very practical if you're editing audio to have uh, foam in between your ears or fabric or whatever it is. So, Zorback looks like that, of course. So, it does kind of resemble Zorback in a, in a way. Although, I like the Twilly one a lot better. If I was only going to order one... I probably would order the Twilly one because it, it looks nicer. Twilly's more iconic than Zorback, in my opinion. I really wish I had a twig one. You know, like a, a nice like cream color with blue on it. That looks sick for this kind of hat. But they don't. So, And the last thing I ordered, talked about on stream. This one, this package is stronger than the package it came in. The package inside the package. Ooh, Ooh that's soft. Okay. So this is, is there a code? Did I not get a code? Oh, okay, okay. All right, let me stealthily take this out. What? Um, all right, well, I guess this makes up for the $17 they charged me. Um. I gotta cover all the codes and stuff, so... 
shit. But I ordered a $10 card. I got a $25 card. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> whoever sent me that. Uh, whoever packed my order gave me extra in-game currency, so that's fun. Although I don't see the code for the mod thing. It might be in the bag here. It's not, there's nothing else in the bag. Is it like attached to something? It's gotta be. Oh, oh, I think I found it. Yeah, I got the code. It doesn't come on like a, doesn't come on a paper like all the, like on a actual like plastic printed out paper like all the other codes come on. Like this one. But uh, that's really sick. So. I have a lot of codes to probably blur out in this video because I know Ray uh, put the code in this video and people used it and it actually got um, like he got like the badge taken away temporarily until they could fix it. So it's not the right color. That camera that I'm using for the this shot really sucks but for color. It's actually got orange font on it. So that's what it actually looks like real life on um, this camera <laughs> with my ugly face on it. Um, no, you can't be a mod. That's a t-shirt. It's the medium size my size so it's good and uh yeah that's all the stuff i ordered i'm actually really happy that i got 25 dollars instead of 10 dollars i ordered a 10 dollar one let me check let me check maybe i actually ordered a 25 dollar one yeah i ordered a 10 dollar one okay so bonus lots of bonus stuff so that's good um thank you guys for watching this video a little weird let me actually try to put on the sore back hat Probably wearing the hats on stream for goofs. Doesn't go over your nose. The Zorback hat is actually bigger than the Tully hat for some reason. What's that? Oh, it's already collecting little bits of fabric on it. That's good. So, if it's Zorback hat, if anyone wants to take a screenshot, send me a nice uh, meme on Twitter. And this Tully one. Tully one's a lot tighter. Got like Dumbo ears. I don't think their ears are this big in game, are they? That's really odd. All right, what would be a hero mod video without checking out the in game items? I know some people buy items just for the in game items, so I might as well show them in this video. Uh, that would be a disservice if I did not show the in game items. Let's check them all out. All right, so if you've never purchased a item from Hero Mart, you have to go to portal.battleon.com uh, slash prize code dot ASP. That is where you can put your codes in and that will get you your items in game. So let's put in all the codes and then we'll check out the in game items. All right, so the gift certificate was actually legit $25 or 5k Arctic points if we look uh, three months plus 6k is 5k Arctic points and that is $25 I have ordered three months plus 6k so many times it is exactly 25 US dollars so very nice that uh, they include an extra maybe this was a mistake if it was I'm very grateful and if they did it on purpose I'm also very grateful it's very nice so uh, the $25 gift certificate is legit it was actually 5k arcs points for all nice. right for the no you can't be a mod class this is a web page i've never seen before it looks like it was made for card clashers so you don't have to do some portal.battleon.com wow it has my old username saved there that's very weird all right and we have the you can't be a mod class in a veg quest world sound success good stuff all right, we got this Zorback hat for Adventure Quest Worlds. The code did work. Good stuff. I don't know why I'm expecting these codes not to work. I don't know. I just... Uh, prog progress. We're making progress. These codes are long. I mean, <laughs> Jesus. And if you also order the Zorback hats, like the one I'm wearing, or the Twilly hat, uh, the code you get, you can put on to portal.battleon.com. But you also have to go to aq3d, account.aq3d.com slash promo. 
Uh, you have to go there and put the code in here. That's why it says success right there. I just entered the code, copy and paste it in there. So you have to put it in two different locations if you also want the AQ3D items. So keep that in mind uh, when you get a hero mark code in the mail. And the Twilly Hat, our last code to enter. Let's also put this on AQ3D.com uh, slash promo. And then we'll check out the items in game finally. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out the items in the game finally. Let's go through the badges. So we have quite a few actually items to check out and i'm not actually going to do like a class guide for the class we got because we did get a class uh from this t-shirt right here uh there the class does come with this t-shirt but we'll just check out all the cosmetic items let's go to my house and let's check these out all right so if you don't know where to go if you buy hero mart badges you go to book lore badges hero mart self-explanatory so i got the not a mod the Hero Mart Hero. Unlock this badge by purchasing a gift from Hero Mart. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Uh, the Twilly Mulligan hat and the Twilly Sora back hat. So let's check out this one first because I was not expecting this. The Darkness Eater. Okay, so that is the blade I got for this gift certificate. So you can see both these codes are used. So don't try to use them. You're not going to get anything if you try to use these codes. Um, any of the codes in this video, you're not going to get anything. I, I use them all, and I showed you that I use them all on this video. None of them are not activated, so no point of wasting your time. Uh, but you can see there's two codes on here. Uh, the Darkness Eater is the smaller one on this thing. Uh, you can only get it by ordering one of these gift certificates off Hero Mart. And they don't advertise it anywhere on the Hero Mart site. You have to type in codes on the search bar, and it still doesn't come up. Uh, if you type in gift there you go um so you, you can type in gift codes and you can type in the amount you want up to a hundred dollars so that's like if you want to give it to a friend or something like that that's what you would do if you want a physical like thing and you can only get this sort of hero mart actually it might be with the retail cards too uh you might be able to get sort of the retail cards but i don't think they make those anymore uh i might be wrong uh, but they were selling those at Toys R Us, the retail cards. So if, next time you get Toys R Us, if you look for them, you might find one. Maybe. Probably not, though. So that was our first... We're already at our house. That was our first uh, little thing. Let's check out the item shop for the No, You Can't Be a Mod. So the Tasty Muffin. Is that a, That's a sword? Okay, that's really cool. The Not a Mod Armor. Nice. I thought we'd only get the class with it. So the armor and the little sea throw non-member pet ac tagged of course that's very sick let's put all that stuff on all right so we have this sword hopefully don't need to enhance any of this the tasty muffin so there we go and the walking animation with it pretty nice your character isn't really holding it in their hand at least with this armor i'm not maybe with the male armor uh you would be holding it in your hand but this one is not so that's a thing we have the pet, which is probably the coolest part. The little Cicero, or Cicero, however you say it. Let's see, are you gonna move? <laughs> he's bugging out, okay, he's dancing or something. That walking animation, oh man. Okay, that's so sick. No, don't join Yolgar, damn it. But look at that walking animation, oh, it's so laggy. That's so, that's so awesome. I wonder if they use that animation for anything else. And last but not least, the armor. Not a mod armor. Whoa, what happened to my feet? My feet just grew quite a bit. So there is the armor. Let's take off all the other stuff. All right, I unequipped all the items that could be blocking out the armor. So there it is. Very cool looking. And stay tuned and subscribe if you're not ready for the class video. I'll be making one of those very shortly and it'll be up on the channel soon. All right, so now the latest items, the items that I'm wearing on my head right now. Let's check out the brand new pets. These are the most recent Hero Mart items that are out at the time of recording this video, of course. So let's check out the Twilly one. Let's go to shop. So we have Twilly with the Zorback helmet and Twilly with the Twilly. So let's take Twilly with Twilly. Some Twilly on. No, let's not. I was, let's not say what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> and Zorback. So let's take Zorback with Zorback on his head. Both of those. Let's see the size and the animations of them. If they have anywhere close to as cool as the animation as Cicero's uh, pet has, then I'm going to be very happy. All right. So there's Twilly. Okay. So he's a normal size for a Moglin. And Zorback. 
So they're the exact same size. See what the walking animation is? That's yeah, that's the normal mulligan. It's so cute. The normal mulligan walking animation looking very nice. So let's check out Zorback just in case you might have a different one. I highly doubt it. All right, and yes, the same animation on him. So that is everything for Adventure Quest Worlds, but join me. Let's travel into another dimension, the third dimension. For Adventure Quest 3D, let's check out the brand new helmets, like the one I'm wearing on my head, IRL. Let's check it out in Adventure Quest 3D. All right, so I'm still waiting for the bush armor uh, to come out in Adventure Quest 3D, but we have the next best thing the brand new helmets let's check them out in game i have not i've not seen them in game other than like the screenshots so let's see them in actual video form on a character it's actually moving around um i don't know where they are in my inventory i don't even know if they are in my okay here they are so preview oh that looks sick all right so <laughs> they're level one with two mana so these are obviously supposed to be visual equips and not actual like items that you're supposed to be using of course and they're level one so every character can use them so there's the blue one in game looking very nice might want to like change your hair color to blue to match that also and the other one the red mulligan let's preview Whew. that one looks nice too so they're the same of course but just recolored and uh that is the aq 3d item you get for the hat I'm wearing on my head right now. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe if you're not already, and check out the last time I unboxed a Hero Mart item. It was kind of an iDubbbz parody. If you've ever seen iDubbbz bad unboxings, you can check that out on my channel. I'll probably put a card at the end to watch that video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. And if you watch to the end, because this video is probably one of the longest videos on my channel, comment Mulligan. Moglin, Mulligan. I call them Mulligans. That's a golf term. They're actually called Moglins. Um, so comment, comment Mulligan and not Moglin. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.